Good morning, everyone. Just sitting in person, face to face. Uh, we are happy to be both. We did indeed hold productive talks with Russia. Uh, indeed, the talks were so productive that we found enough common ground to warrant the establishment of several technical working groups to dive further into the details of what a future trilateral arms control agreement should look like. But the future of nuclear arms control must address all nuclear weapons. Uh, maybe during the Cold War it made sense to talk about strategic or non-strategic nuclear weapons. I would say that is not uh, what we feel anymore. We view every nuclear warhead uh, as having strategic implications. Might take longer is to, let's say, December. We made crystal clear to China that we expect that they do, in fact, honor their obligation under the NPT to negotiate with us in good faith. And we will continue to invite them to these talks because we view it as essential. This is a fundamental change in China's historic nuclear posture. Historically, China adopted the view that they needed a minimal deterrent, much as the British and the French have today. That's all changed. Now, the current regime in Beijing has by and large abandoned Deng Xiaoping's uh, concept of hide and bide, hide your capabilities and bide your time. In the case, however, of their nuclear buildup, they continue that game. It is secretive, it is non-transparent, and it must stop. Russia has uh, expressed the wish previously to uh, uh, this matter of their so-called unconstrued. If they want to be treated as a great power, what better way uh, to be seen as a rising great power than to join the United States and Russia uh, in this most serious of undertakings, which is the matter of, of strategic nuclear arms control? <laughs> Cheers. Thank you.